Welcome to Concept Learn. And now coming to some economic uses of this groundnut. We all know, right? We usually use them in kitchen in various for various purposes for butters and also oil. The most common thing, vegetable oil, uh, which are most of the um, Indians are using. So we will see some economic uses here also. So groundnut oil. It is a cooking media for preparing different food items. It is the primary source of vegetable oil requirement to the Asian people. So, we people, we Indians and also some most of the uh, people from Asian countries use groundnut oil as a major source of cooking media. And also the groundnut seed contains 45% oil and 26% of protein. Okay. You have to remember this no matter what. The oil contents and the protein contents in oil seeds are very important. So, you should remember them. In groundnut, we have how much? 45% of the oil and 26% of protein. Okay. Now, the groundnut kernels are good source of all B vitamins except B12 and vitamin E. So, it is a good source of all the B vitamins B1, B2 and also some other vitamins and except B12 and vitamin E. Okay. And also these groundnut kernels are rich in phosphorus, calcium and magnesium including micronutrients like ferrous and zinc. So, now it is a good source like we have so many vitamins like B vitamins except B12 and vitamin E. And also groundnut kernels are rich in phosphorus, calcium, magnesium and also some other micronutrients like and now groundnut oil is a major source of edible oil in India as we have already seen that and the inferior quality is used for making soaps, detergents, cosmetics, paints, candles, lubricants and some of the medicines. We have seen uh, these groundnuts are hand picked like the good grades, grading will be done in uh, groundnut. And the best ones will be picked up by manually by hands. The least graded ones will be sent to very different uh, manufacturing or different industries uh, which can be used for here we can see lubricants like soaps, detergents, uh, paints, candles and lubricants. We ha where they have different purposes. And also this oil cake, grounded oil seed cake is a good source of nutrients. NPK we have 7.7 to 8% of nitrogen, 1.5% of P2O5 and 1 to 2 percent of K2O. So, it is a good oil seed cake which is useful for cattle feed. Cattle feed ga guda dini use yes taro and also we can apply this in field also. Next, the peanut homes which are nothing but the dried stalks after harvesting which are remained on the field. They can be used as a cattle feed either in fresh or in dried stage. Ela geta manam different grasses ni hay or silage ka prepare chesta mo. We can also use this peanut homes or peanut stalks after harvesting and uh, we can preserve them and use them as cattle feed later. It is also suitable for crop rotation. Okay, manchi substitute crop rotation lo manchi easy growing crop gravity crop rotation lo idini guda which is very much suitable and also in some areas groundnut is used as a green menu crop. As usual we know this has some important nitrogen fixing facilities. So, manam eppadaita din green menu crop laga grow chesi, we will incorporate directly into the soil. Then it adds so much of nutrients to the soil. So, in so much of the area, so many areas, it is used as a green menu crop. And nearly 81% of these kernels are used for extraction, oil extraction. Major purpose of this oil, groundnut seeds are oil extraction. So, major part, 81% is used for oil extraction only. Then next 12% is used for seed purpose, which is used for growing the next crop 12 percent and 16 percent is raw materials for raw materials 6 percent of this is used and 1 percent is exported in terms of hand picked selections as I have already said hand picked selections and uh, manual ga we will pick we will grade them manually with our own hands manchi uh, we dani separate chesi least ones we have we will be separating them and the best ones will be used for exporting okay only 1%. We have only 1% for uh, exporting in terms of hand picked selection. And also, groundnut is able to fix atmospheric nitrogen in the rate of 60 to 100 kg per hectare. Okay, 60 to 100 kg per hectare. What is this atmospheric nitrogen fixing? Which is nothing but we can see here. These are the roots, and here we can see some small nodules here, right? These are nothing but some nodules, some pinhead size nodules which I have already told you. These are useful for fixing this atmospheric nitrogen. Atmosphere lo air aite maniki nitrogen molecular form lo available ga undo. Absorb this nitrogen. This is absorbed. E nitrogen absorbed jes koni. They will convert into some other ammonia or some other forms of nitrogen. Other forms of other forms of 
nitrogen ki they will convert them and they this nitrogen whichever is available for the plant now is used for various metabolic processes e plant edaithe undo it again uses this nitrogen for this various metabolic process for the growth and also for the seed formation and also some other metabolic evai the growth processes untayo dantlo this nitrogen will be used at the rate of 60 to 100 kg per hectare nitrogen ni these nodules are fixing in in groundnut especially okay